scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let me not go back the same way. I came tonight to have the gifts of the Spirit activated. I came for my business. I came for my family. Lord, let me not go back the same. Oh, 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 Cry to him. Destiny, the lifter, the exalter of those who trust. Make sure you are praying to Him. Mm. Oh. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Tonight is a very strange night. I've spent the night praying on these oils that you see. And I tell you the truth, what it will work in the lives of people will surprise them. I promised that I was going to take a few testimonies and I wasn't able to come as at the time, but I understand that there are a few very striking testimonies. Please let me have the, the details just... Okay, go ahead. Hallelujah. Um, this is Usman Augusta. Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer John Oleku. Where is that? I hope they can hear outside. Please, if it's your name, ushers guide them very quickly so they can. Samaila Chindo. Grace Heman, you can put your hands together for them as they come. Gloria Jaja and um, Fatima Abubaka Besson. Okay, the following. Would you repeat it, please, one more time? Usman, Augusta, Jennifer, John, Oleku, Esther, Samaila, Chindo, Grace, Heman, Gloria, Jaja, and Fatima, Abubakar, Besson. Are they here? Wherever you are, please, very quickly, make your way to the front. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. While we wait for them, I hope they are around. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples now. And he said, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. He says, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost part of the earth. Very, very interesting. He says, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come and he never said that power will make you a preacher he never said that power will make you a prophet he never said that power will make you an apostle he said that power that you receive will make you a witness a witness listen very carefully i'm teaching now are we together now a witness is not a prophet a witness is not an apostle a witness is not even a man of god 
a witness is an individual who has been authorized to prove that Jesus did not lie are we together when it talks of witness that's all right if, if they are not around or they are not within the vicinity that's okay we can continue with what we're doing a witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement is a defender are we together now it's a legal terminology like you go to the the court of law and you are asked do you have a witness at the point where whatever action was taken was there an individual who can attest for you now remember we were not there when jesus died but the bible says there is something that the holy ghost can bring to our lives are we together now and it says that anointing that power can make us witnesses validators validators of the claims of jesus listen without a system for validating the claims of jesus there is no reason to be a christian are we together now yes it matters that the claims of jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled it matters that men know that this jesus that we seek and this jesus that we serve listen carefully it's not just a mirage it's not a doctrine he's not just theology that he's alive and lives forevermore and there is the power that makes us validators are we together now he says we shall receive the power i hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure please make sure you are not are we together now if we just have two of them that's okay they can just it's just a token um of the testimony so that i can fulfill whatever it is can we pause for a moment and, and and then let's hear their testimony come my dear just tell us quickly i don't have your name here praise the lord my name is jennifer john oleku for four to five years now i have a lump in my right breast but after the prayer last night this morning i was dressing and then i checked myself it was gone to the glory of god completely the lump how long yes four to five years you check this morning yes sir and it's gone completely hallelujah give jesus praise we do not take for granted you know you people are so used to miracles in this place when something happens you just laugh and um never get familiar with the presence of god it says that um how did he put it now I, i'm trying to remember a scripture that the bible put um philemon chapter 1 verse 6 i can't remember the, the the quotation but i remember the verse philemon 1 verse 6 give it to us there's no point struggling when we can read it philemon 1 verse 6 can we have it okay i'll just turn there i just wanted to encourage us with that scripture one moment my dear and i'll pray for you philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ so the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing god does lord i had headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now the bible says it can boost your faith the communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing there was a lump on my breast and now i've checked and it's not there while i'm trusting god to give another miracle i do not ignore what he has done are we together now In the name of jesus may the lord perfect you never never returns again in jesus name come my dear let's give jesus praise for her go ahead your name and your testimony praise god my name is gloria faga Yesterday you prayed about those that can't hear with their right ear. After the prayer, I was able to hear. Couldn't hear with your right ear? You're sure? How long? 20 years now. Um, how old are you now? Do you mind? <laughs> Hallelujah. Interesting. And, and for that long, for 20 years, what happened? Just that pinning me. And, and that was it. 
and right now you can hear with it which of them it will never return to you again in the name of jesus the same way the lord opened your ears may every part of your destiny be opened in the name of jesus christ give jesus praise thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord thank you thank you so much so we we're discussing acts chapter 1 and verse 8 now while jesus was on earth please follow me carefully while jesus was on earth the bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life he lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction that's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves they are celebrators of the finger of god but they are never benefactors of that grace so jesus began to teach us that the holy spirit has a ministry to believers he has a ministry to unbelievers and jesus said that he will reprove the world the fallen system of men of sin of righteousness of judgment and then to the believers he will guide them in all truth he will do this and that the bible began to tell us all the things that jesus would do now let me tell you this one of the things that i have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of christ and his ministry while he walked on earth are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now are we together now jesus said it is expedient advantageous for you that i go why so that the comforter the helper the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man the helper will come the helper will come that means jesus was saying come jesus was saying he that told I represent the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you but shortly I'm going to go away but I will not leave you comfortless is that true someone else will come to hold your hands and continue is the Greek word alos parakletos the word alos means of the same kind heteros where we get heterogeneous means of another kind another species so another person is coming and he is no different from who i am in terms of ability in terms of purpose in terms of function he says when he comes he will continue my ministry everybody say continue my ministry so the holy spirit today represents to the body of christ what jesus represented to the apostles are we together most people jesus help me jesus save me i know that it looks emotional but jesus has no business helping you and saving you today he has already done that he's seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for the saints that's the limit of his ministry now the personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice his plan 
is the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Yes. You pray to the Father, agreed. You pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he's somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people, born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity. When I talk of demonstration, I don't mean falling down and rolling. No, I'm talking about the life producing power. It says, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men, Sophia, but on the power of God. We have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people. And we men of God keep proposing. Do you know what? how dangerous it is to keep whetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience? There is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness. The waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end. And you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known. He can be related with. It's just that we have not been taught. We've not been taught the usefulness of his person. The Holy Spirit today represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. He represents the power of God. He's the manifestation of the glory of God. The Holy Spirit is so powerful. He turned Jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman. What can he not turn? In Genesis chapter 1, when you read, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then when you read verse 2, the Bible says, Now the earth was dark and formless and all of that, just like the lives of several people. Dark, void, formless, scattered, family scattered into pieces. And the Bible says, He's the creative force that began to hover around. And then God spoke, Let there be. And there was. And he said it was good. Remember, the goodness of God cannot be seen outside of the Holy Spirit. The only reason why it became good was because of the Holy Spirit. I look at my life today and I imagine what a failure I would have become without him. It's not about oratory. No, it's his presence. We are all gathered today, scattered around and people following, connected from all over the world today from this location because of the Holy Spirit. 
when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sittest thou idle they say no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the holy spirit and say spirit of the living god this joblessness you represent jesus to me an extension of the ministry of jesus when the tribute remember jimmy's powerful teaching when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life it was jesus that instructed peter go to the fish and now you run to the holy spirit spirit of god my finances there are bills to pay i don't know what to do i come to you an extension of the ministry of jesus are we together yes everything literally that jesus was to the disciples to the then civilization of man is who the holy spirit is to us today it's who the holy spirit is to us today jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the holy spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but i'm introducing the person of the holy spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek god as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the holy spirit facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face hmm. how could you do ministry without the holy spirit what are you preaching sister how could you dare get married without the holy spirit what do you want to do with that marriage give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb brother why do you want to get married without him don't you know that marriage is a triangle he is the first person and then you and the wife are under you go two of you like a string you are in trouble when two of you are apart it is him that brings you back the holy spirit People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives listen i'm reintroducing the person of the holy spirit you may have experienced his anointing but do you know him do you know him he's the secret behind this ministry you see this young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him he is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire for he truly brings beauty out of your life 32 verse 15 isaiah until the spirit be poured upon joshua selman from on high and then this life that is an utter wilderness now becomes counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest he truly brings beauty and glory i'm not asking you whether you are educated i'm not asking you whether you can speak english i'm not asking you whether your father is in politics i'm asking you do you know him 
is brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness lord you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness you are brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you see listen listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something we live in a society where nobody believes in you don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me they deserve to not believe in you but you ignore them and walk with the holy spirit give him time and watch the wonder he will produce he met a young virgin called mary and said mary the angel came on his behalf just believe and watch what will happen that you can be pregnant without a man that it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere can anything good come out of nazareth and the holy spirit says hold my hand and he said lord i can't even talk like moses don't worry hold my hands and he turns you into a sign and a wonder and people say is this not the lady we used to know beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise seven thousand and pay but you bring the holy spirit i don't have a big house but i invite you into my room i tell you his presence will squeeze you out of that room and take you where looks like him that's the holy spirit for you he's the lifter of men this thing is not magic it's not just prophecy I'm telling you this listen to what i'm telling you if you are a man of god here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of god upon your life listen twice close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration i know this about him he's brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness Lord you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness I remember in, two, in 2004 standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry i don't think i'm as intelligent as people require for ministry so i ran to him cover my shame cover my shame i may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire i didn't have the privilege that society demands but cover my shame lord i admit that i'm weak and the holy spirit said hold my hand let's go let me tell you it was a vision this is where this ministry was birthed by sunday koinonia will be seven uh, seven anniversary of koinonia but let me tell you this i remember i was standing in that vision i was standing and i saw a whole generation of people they were crying it was fear that took me there to that building and i stood i was watching i could not see the end of the people and i said what is this and then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and said, you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation but i was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door I saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building I remember one time I he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and I said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever 
when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please i i i don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the holy spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me god is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him I remember those nights when i'll just find a corner and just be praying individually you know when i see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known appetite to be seen i just nod my head and i say these gentlemen have missed it little power they want to be recognized everywhere they want to be known invite me for meeting call me apostle don't call me brother it's nonsense when his power smells you even to the father's part they said they shall call you you won't call yourself they shall call you ministers of our god there will be an evidence of his hand upon your life i remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman then phones just came out and they were making calls somebody whose spine was fractured remember that miracle the guy's spine was broken into pieces completely and all of a sudden it was with that call it was in the night i was going to browse and then pray and all of a sudden i called that gentleman with a bracelet confirmed here and i think then it was um the other place there and all of a sudden with just one single prayer brothers and sisters that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother the only thing i had was jesus the next day the way you gather for funeral that's how they gathered in that house the father had the boy was healed they said who did this they say it's one brother joshua not apostle all these showmanship people move around today they don't pray they don't fast no mentorship they don't listen to anybody they just brag around saying i saw a vision i had a dream i saw a ministry sit down and walk with him don't ignore him and look for fame you would die young you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. You are brooding, you are brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that a time will come when God visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking leave the issue of finances let me walk on you otherwise the finance thing will kill you there are people where you start with God there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with God you will see God flogging an aspect. You can come to church, we teach about something else. When you are done, the Holy Spirit will say, save that book. We'll talk about it next year. Let's go back to what we are discussing. And you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter. Allow him to work on you. Jesus. Jesus. When he's done with you, and he brings beauty and glory out of your life, you will look at yourself, and you will be afraid. You say lord is this what you planned look at a poor village girl like me look at a poor village boy like me and he says that's exactly what i want to do to show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels to show that i can take the weak things oh god i'm a poor girl from kaduna state somewhere lord i'm an illiterate somewhere in the south he says don't worry hold my hands don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much when you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding over every time you are causing, causing lights light to shine from God. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking His presence. Till today, they have not found it.
till today they would never focus on him because of money there are people who could not settle down they were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and pa and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence till today till tomorrow they are still struggling some of them are not even in the faith again please hear me koinonia let's settle down with the holy spirit let not just because you are a leader not just because you are a worker settle down with the holy spirit and say holy spirit i'm not in a rush with you do with me whatever jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become the holy spirit will turn your life around turn your wilderness you will look at yourself one day and say is this me lord what is this that you have done when gentiles begin to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction. Divine direction, guidance. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. Let me show you something that I found while I was studying. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. Powerful scripture. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into all of these people and I will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the Holy Spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the Lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And I will cut them off. I'm giving you victory, but that victory will be through divine direction. We will go step by step, guidance by guidance, place by place. Notice how God led people in scripture, He took them from one place, they would conquer this land, then they would go to this land. Many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel 
that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this part looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the part wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction 
let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture it says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle i saw you having an accident tomorrow i keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear god because the spirit of god will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is god i saw an accident but i am speaking by the power of god's word to stop it but i saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations uh -huh. continue let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god god does not speak like that if you claim to be a man of god and your wife is a witch you are foolish you are not anointed it means you are not even a man of god because your ministry should be demonstrated there and then the validity of your anointing should be proven there let's be careful we have ignored scripture and so all kinds of words you see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of god the devil uses the faces of people when god wants to lift you he will now try to use a face of a man of god or somebody you respect and come to you and press you and you get up in ignorance and say ah, you do not know that satan can masquerade as an angel of light the bible already gave you that information I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people I know that it's an attack from Satan, but I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word, your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. 
he said even if an angel brings another gospel that means satan can masquerade as an angel of light is one of the greatest reasons why men of god should pray before coming on the stage i'm not praying when i come on stage for miracles to happen with all humility i will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is bleaking and you see people falling under the anointing you will think he's charm that's anointing but the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that oh god superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy go and read it when you go home joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to i think 21 or thereabout verse 1 to 21 21 verses talks about how jericho was destroyed it was not just destroyed because god was powerful it was destroyed to a divine strategy nowhere in the bible was that strategy used again are we together when you stand before the challenges as a ministry i remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest there may not be any other avenue for revenue there are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing you must receive a divine strategy lord in this marriage what is the strategy for training our children in this marriage what is the strategy for living in peace you can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night. Soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together? Let me tell you one of the ways I prayed on this. It was in a, in a big, it wasn't like this. I literally opened it and I was confessing God's word and speaking and laying hands. You will think the oil cannot hear. I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing. This is ordinary oil. But when the anointing comes, the same word I'm speaking to you is the same word. Receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly. It's more than just oil touching your head. You will see what it will do in your life. hallelujah mm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and he started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray 
so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye koinonia but ye joshua selman shall receive power kabalakotia power is the word dunamis you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and it shall make you witnesses unto me both in jerusalem in judea samaria and to the utmost part of the earth peter was speaking in the house of cornelius in chapter 10 and in verse 38 of acts chapter 10 verse 38 he says how god listen now how god anointed jesus of nazareth the word born on earth from nazareth but still had to be anointed to be efficient just quoting scripture does not bring you result the word must be anointed to profit you how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but god anointed jesus the word until then he was the son of the carpenter but the anointing turned him to the christ a saint one and the bible says he went about doing good for us to understand this we must go to genesis chapter one and see the things god say are good he calls creation good he calls plants coming out of a barren ground good so there are things that are do you know the bible says he went about doing good comma and then healing all day that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargons he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members call you one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired i made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit
and the tree said sorry he says come and Jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just coming and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbalah kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people have found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habali somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them and nothing shall by any means whatever i do against god has nothing to do with satan this is between me and god the law is nothing shall by any means so that you don't just say i was angry i shouted at my wife today hey, hey, hey. satan is coming you are joking my shouting at my wife is god i owe an apology as for you the casting remains so regardless of the condition nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you 
No, sir. God is not like that. We have misrepresented him. And it has given access. Access for the devil. Jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple. And went straight for a crusade. And casted out all kinds of devils. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? The anointing. It is the anointing that brings favor. It is the anointing that brings increase. There are some of us, anything they give you remains like that forever. There is no potential of growth. I have seen people in my life, listen, I have seen people in my life that have been surprised. You see them 10 years ago, you see them 10 years later, and Ichabod, the glory has the, they are still the same way. Same house, same room, same financial level. I say, ah, Luther continua. Victoria is scattered. That's a cause. Never say that thing. The Bible said the path of the just. It takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in. Someone just sees you and say, uh-uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. What audacity do you have to say you will feed us? There are families where it's the women that feed the men. Do you know that? No matter how hard working, you rise up as a man, something must happen to crash you. Shout no way. Haba, there are families, the men never reach 50. They must die and leave the children for the innocent women. You see women, old women in a place, where are the men? Some of you, they've already told you that the moment you are 25, there is a stranger that comes to you. There is a secret nonsense marriage. In fact, there are some of you, you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents. You still have rings and the rest. And now you are born again and you are now asking, those demons have refused to go. There is something you can engage in. Let me tell you, that will shatter that yoke into pieces. When I discovered who Satan really was, I stopped wasting my time. I said, so this is what has made me afraid. You are not even the worst of all spirits. Come on now. Satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives. He loves it when he's magnified out of proportion. Now, don't get me wrong. Those who claim Satan is cheap and he just give away. I hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore Satan just as a result of pride and say, I can just quote a scripture. He will eat you up and spit you out. Don't get me wrong. Satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years. It is through knowledge that the just is delivered, not through bold face for nothing. Are we together? Listen, nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes. You have to believe this. Hmm. Time will never change anything in your life. Time will never change anything in your family. Time will never change anything in your marriage. Time will never change anything in your body. When God wants to help you, he introduces the anointing. The Holy Spirit, the custodian, the conveyor of the anointing. Are we together? In the Bible, when men encountered the anointing, it spelled a change of story in their lives. It was very clear that when the anointing came upon them, it was time. Ordinary people in the Bible, Aaron and his sons, Moses, Joshua, down the line, when the anointing came upon them, they changed in strange and mysterious way. Someone is changing tonight. Someone outside is changing tonight. You, you may be among the crowds, hear me. Some of you are even at the overflow there. You are just standing and watching and saying, God, could you be talking about me? Yes, sir. Yes, ma. He's talking about you. Don't mind what they have said about you. Let the anointing come on you. And you will watch your life, brothers and sisters, change in a way and manner that will surprise you. I have seen what this anointing can do to people. I have seen people change in supernatural ways. This anointing can translate to the power to get wealth. That in two weeks, two weeks, 14 days, a man's life can change. He will be like, God, what is this? What is this? A gentleman shared with me, one of, one of my boys shared with me um, a, a story, very, very touching uh, testimony 
the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it, those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it god has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days favor is real favor can happen to anybody anybody strangers can arise to favor you yes sir you can have money and not have favor that you have money does not mean you have favor favor is not about money coming favor is about men coming and whatever they come with that includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the mimshak anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave? They come as human beings. A service is going on. Or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. 
there is a grace he said because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness even god thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows there is an anointing that can give a man influence there is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries you are the last born but god gives you a voice listen you know one man of god was talking to me one time and said apostle how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands and i tell him you can't look for those people by putting cv there is an anointing that draws people that draws a kind of people you will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry it's not pride I'm telling you the secret today it's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good come no there is an anointing that brings them when that anointing comes upon you God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give it's not always about quantity it's about quality God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life the grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look I, I don't play child's play all that one is 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 complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to herbalists and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah Jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for like or, or snapping with this person and i say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you bar it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there 
it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life There is a grace for influence. Lucifer carried it. The anointed cherub that covereth. He can cover a territory with his ideologies. I have seen people on this earth with that anointing. I have seen business people with that anointing. I have seen families with that anointing. Heal song. That's the anointing working there. You see those young boys just strumming their guitar. Yet you don't know what takes them all over the world. There are people carrying that grace. Joyce Mayer, you listen to her and you are sleeping. Yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village. You go to your village and see somebody reading the book. And you are wondering and say, my cassette, my, my what they call it, my, my CD. I waxed an album. I'm just a few kilometers to my village. It refused to enter there. There is an anointing. Mimshak. The strange grace. That's what happens to the messages. That's what happens to what God is doing in this ministry. Do you believe that this can come upon you? Yes, sir. Can come upon you. Number what now? The fourth anointing that I believe and I trust God, I trust God with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod a rod ordinary rod and it will pass the red sea there is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says sister i hear you attend koinonia I cannot meet apostle but I hear you attend koinonia and you say what is it he may be busy but let me pray he has prayed for us that grace is working say you say let's just pray and he say father I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman I hear that supernaturally they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow I agree with you and by 1 a.m the woman gets an alert 500,000 dot she will run to you and say woman of god what did you even say she won't call you sister again it takes a woman of god to produce that miracle that you can go back home and say i came back from an impartation in koinonia and your father said what does what good does that do to us go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there number one they have said your mother is dying Number two, they have said your other sister, nothing is wrong. Number three, they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles. And you say, can you just give me a few hours? You carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of Jesus. They are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it. And you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. I agree with you. And all of a sudden, by the next day, that man is sleeping and an angel of the Lord appears. Why are you doing this to my daughter? Behave yourself. It is because of this your heaven is not closing. And she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down. He said, let's, let's make this work. Let's make this marriage work. Are we together? Some of you will take this anointing back to your churches. And God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. 
supernatural signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders the last thing that i'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you if you don't believe it you can write the other four and leave this one it's unto you according to your faith i have told you i am very vocal i love the lord by the grace of god and with all humility my passion for god and for the things of the spirit has been vetted by the body of christ and so when i teach about finances and i talk about this it's not in any way to promote carnality but I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that your prayer's time will be spent worshiping god not saying oh god this rent oh god tea oh god there is no sugar and you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries oh 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 for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god by the finger of god all of them are important but brothers and sisters for some of us the emergencies in our lives require god showing up like the man of war that he is we are going to sing this song one more time and i want you to open your spirit truly because as this impartation happens as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation 
Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father. Say it again. Father. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. I declare. That I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight. By your anointing. Lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension. In ministry. New dimension. Spiritually. New dimension. In finances. Pray. Oh, Lift your voice and pray. Shakata pata kete da banata pata reto wata lata keta shiata tata shakata kete shapata keto kete shalata reto wapa parade kete shakete kete kete berata kete 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 kwa. I tell you, Hallelujah. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Tonight is that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And the yoke, the yoke of delay. The yoke of retrogression. The yoke of begging as a generation. That yoke shall be taken from up your shoulder. Check. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every cause. Every, cause, every yoke. Every, yoke, every spell. Every Every enchantment, every enchantment over my life, over my, life, over my, family, over my family, I declare, I declare that, by the anointing, that by the anointing it is broken forever. Is broken. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. You're breaking. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. By the authority. In the finished work of Christ. I declare. 
to principalities, to powers, to familiar spirits, that tonight I have been called out of every tribe, every covenant, every enchantment, the sins of my fathers will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment. Please pray, pray. Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every veil. Every veil that has covered my glory. That has covered my glory. Every veil. Every veil that has hijacked my honor. That has hijacked my In the honor. name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I tear that veil to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Covered your glory. It says arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By the anointing, rise to destiny. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every aspect of my life, rise to your place in destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen. The Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access. Every access. 
process that left my life that left my life by the anointing by the anointing i call you back i call you lift your voice and begin to pray business opportunities educational opportunities i call you back i call you back i call you back I call you back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Favor. 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 You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went. But there are things that the Bible says immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we are talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You're sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. Open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, but truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Hallelujah. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them, and then overflow one, overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of CGC fence. 
overflow three is the main um the 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 space outside there overflow four is everything from the end of cgc's fence to wherever people are now and then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other streets there that's that's the overflow this is what we are going to do please make sure that this oil comes upon you even if you have a child even if the child is sleeping just touch the child you don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it it's not about idolatry just a touch you can take one if you like put on your head and did you bring all those documents we are going to pray just, just leave them don't worry leave them there we are going to deal with them please be patient with me and let god surprise you tonight Amen. are we together now except it is not god that has instituted what we are doing some of you you will not even be able to share the testimonies you will watch it will be people will ask you which charm did you hold what happened to you there are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight you will you will stand like this and say so this is how god works this thing is not trial and error god is a god of systems are we together now so i want you to agree with me as we pray please no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things so be sensitive hallelujah be sensitive um what will happen is there are five five so we can do three three that means three bowls here we'll fill it with the oil we'll keep adding and then three outside please protocol work so that we can arrange it please i know that there are lots of people the protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast 
um, just bring the jars, turn them now, turn them, turn them quickly. Let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places. Please, let's be in an attitude of prayer. What you're going to do is just follow as they direct you. Once they receive it, they'll go down there. Someone hold the jars. I believe there's still some more. You just touch it on your head. Don't touch it on any document. Don't worry. We are coming there. You return back to your seat. You are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life. Are we together now? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of Jesus. So some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished. Ejimi can hold one. You can stand here. Whoever is standing with me, Aaron, please the rest, speak it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, 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 holy.
Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka parakoto sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God. Defying all the laws of men. Defying the expectations of men. Rising by the spirit. Rising by the anointing. Rising by the spirit. Abarakata barakato sotobosh. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. We are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living god the word of the lord is upon you sent sent by his anointing keep praying don't be tired you're doing something to your spirit man the hand of god is upon you things are shifting in the spirit doors are opening Ladders have been created, bridging your expectation and your results. Outside, pray. Those online, use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit. Call for the things that be not. Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met.
Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. Any point of contact, your document, certificate, whatever it is, job, sack letter, court case letter, whatever it is. He said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known. Let your request. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you this. I have learned by the Spirit. If you don't have any point of contact, you can use your hand. Your hand is the symbol of your work. Your hand is the symbol of your productivity. I have learned that everything on earth can hear. It just depends on who is speaking. Are we together? God has not called you. I know for many of us, this thing looks like is some form of, for many of us, this looks like it is some form of nonsense. Others will watch and laugh. And you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world, it's not too late. If there is nothing, write your challenge and lift it before God. And say, Lord, this thing is not giving me joy. Your certificate, whatever it is. There's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it. Please make sure you participate. All the overflows. I want to pray. I want you to believe. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, please just believe this once. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree I speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of Jesus I command speed upon that document in the name of Jesus Christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ
for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report is a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now For some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of Jesus I release an anointing upon you now I release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of Jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to one thousand naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands i pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know 
I don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in hundred level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of Jesus by the ministry of angels I command a strange change of result a strange change of result a change of results a change of results hear me I want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now I decree and declare let an anointing right now I'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones i hear there's jam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree I'm sure you know what God does with jam in this ministry. I know you have read, but you need a prophetic backing. Let's make this thing work once and for all. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In a way you have never seen, may the Holy Ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam. May the Holy Ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam. I'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise I stand here and I answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the center may the earth open and swallow them i know you don't like what i'm saying don't mind me just let me finish praying i say again that every territory whether a village whether a town where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men that you do your best but you never move forward i command the sword of vengeance tonight i command the sword of vengeance tonight whoever has ignored you and trivialize the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names let there be a strange unction on you tonight an unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here listen this is a ministry 
where marriages don't break and won't break i believe in family i believe in honor one of the things the devil is doing is walking at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife they get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives i'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name hallelujah if there is anyone called barren you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ pray Lord as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men I am expectant I came with a hunger I came for a touch I came for an encounter I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before. You will make decisions that will accelerate your life. Accelerate ministry. hallelujah in one minute mention everything you came with as a challenge and say lord the time has come for your grace and your power Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my Father, Shalom, 
Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Shalom. Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom. Shalom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jehovah, shalom, shalom, yeah. Lift up your hands, everyone. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We are starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs. Every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the Spirit. At the count of three. Just those individuals. One, two, three. Now, now, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. That breaker anointing. I release it right now. Right now, right now, right now. All the ones separated for breakthroughs right now. Inside and outside. I release that breakthrough anointing. That breakthrough anointing right now. That breakthrough anointing right now. Shake it, take it, take it. It comes like a mighty rushing wind. The breakthrough anointing, the breakthrough unction, enough of that level, enough of that dimension. I speak it, I declare it, I prophesy it, and I release it. Take it from your belly, out of your belly, let it gush like living waters, out of your belly, that breaker anointing, in the name of Jesus. Out of your belly, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and protos, shake it, shake it. That breaker anointing, breakthroughs, 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 breakthroughs. I end the struggle. I end the struggle. I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing. I end the struggle right now. I end the struggle right now. All over the building. I end the struggle right now. Shaka ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ka ta. Embro ta seke te. Eleke te bo soto ba. Para ta rike te bo lo seke te. Seke te ke te leke te bo. Embros kata na kati de bosha. Seke te le kotoshia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said for out of your belly. Something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly. Just keep your hands there. Father in the name of Jesus. Where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. And right now from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly. Let it flow. Let it flow. Living waters. Living waters. Living waters. New dimensions. Living waters. Skatata kapata. Rekete tekete. Bekata taboskata. Embrata kata. 
from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakatia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You have prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord, I pray wherever they are right now, by the light of the Spirit, my Father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands the Lord wants to destroy marital delay this is what is happening right now. Marita, just keep your hands. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny. But there are horns and powers that has kept them down. You may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that. But the enemy has done this. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I release you right now. I release you. I release your family. I release your sisters. That power that has held your marital destiny. Hear the voice of the Lord. That power that has stopped marriage in your family. I speak in the name of Jesus. Be loose right now. 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 Hallelujah. Now, lift your hands. I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit. And so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness. 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 There is someone who came here with that situation. I don't know if it's a couple or somebody. You are expecting a miracle desperately. Let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now, but we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands, let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. 
celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We're married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Mother's Look at house. how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is leaving because there is no child. But are you still in touch? The church tried to call her, she didn't answer, so I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. I need to pray for you. May God bless you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. Ogasa, do you believe your wife will come back? Yes, sir. You want her back? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. Your wife will return back. Amen. Forget about what has happened. God will give you two boys, two girls. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. Very good man you love God not only that what do you do I work in an electronics company Samsung so when we add this issue of this marriage they have to let go of me but I have my own personal business in Kaduna which I, know. I God established is you. Yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life you've lost money you've lost a lot of people even cars because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed but it's like things are going down Lord is going to restore you. Amen. You believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined, the Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka brothers of I release your destiny right now in the name of Jesus I call forth your wife into your life and I open the fountains of fruitfulness the Lord showed me two boys two girls and I release them to your life this power that has tied you down and tied your family in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that it is released right now in the name of Jesus I'm holding your hands and with these hands may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known and I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ friend come where are you from Kaduna too Zaria yeah. Zaria yeah you came alone yes no I came with a friend what would you want the Lord to do in your life Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health yes. in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. It says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit, but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people? In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this room. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. 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 To the front. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Right to the back in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. When the spiritual limitation is taken away, then your life will move forward. What will happen tonight is not just for you, but for every family you represent. So there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered. Not just for themselves, but for their families. And the families you represent lift your hands father in the name that is above all names i'm praying there are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of the Lord Jesus and I come under an apostolic anointing I bring every spirit under arrest and I command that you will live at the count of three. Now at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And they must leave you. One, two, three. Second, third, 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 third. Spirit husband. Every territorial power. Ancestral spirits. That tie people and families. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now.
now. Come out of God's people in the name of Jesus. Bring them out in the name of Jesus. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams. Make intercourse with them and destroy their lives. Keep those hands lifted. Lord, where are those people? Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment Sisters, lift your hands. A spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother. Because with one sister, there are many people that can become victims. Not because of immorality or anything. It's just the nature, the compelling character of women. I pray right now. Anyone here, whether you know it or not, that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God. I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I give the chase for the chase for Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists, give us very anointed tunes. Worship team, help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly.
And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you are seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are. Connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is the healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. of you who have come out I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now. Hallelujah. We'll be very fast about it. Yep. Just give her a chair. Hallelujah. All of you standing here, believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now thank you Jesus father let there be miracles I see miracles everywhere be discerning be spiritual Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, this right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now.
you will do it again. I see miracles. Yesterday, today, forevermore. Out of my love. I Out. see miracles yeah. everywhere. Out. Right now, right now. You have done it everywhere. Oh. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles, miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. I see miracles. Jesus. He will work well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And tell him to go. What's this? The medical report. Okay. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. Jesus, the Son of the Living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah! I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated, Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell Him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come.
what's going on here. Oh, 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 What just happened to him? Now? Yes, 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 yes. Let me tell you something. It's not only settled. I pray for you yes, that not only this will happen, but God will use you to do this. Amen. Same thing. Receive that anointing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Baba, tell him from today. No witchcraft power. No, no chance. Will paralyze and keep him again. Appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
God. God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. No, don't give up. Don't give up on God. Cause He won't give up. I saw this and it caught my attention. This looks like a medical thing. What's this for? It's supposed to help me stretch my fingers. It's to help you stretch your fingers. fingers. They can't, they are not working. For eight months. Your hand. Yes. For how long? Eight months. Why? It just started after I started playing the guitar. You started playing the guitar. And playing then guitar. Long. Yes, sir. See strips, things. It has been playing guitar for as long. His fingers are as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play unto the glory of God. Oh, you, you want play, to play for a club now, this hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. You Hallelujah. That's how he keeps play robbing the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the Son of the Living God. You're the Son of the Living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. You cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned, you cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise.
declare your kingdom reign. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. In a oh, you say, oh, you say, God. Now we say it again. If we call to him, he will run to us. Give it to us. Come now, pray. Praise His name, holy saints of God. Hey, oh, sing for joy through God our strength. Oh, sing for joy. We call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, oh, you say it's of God. One time. If we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to him, he will run to us. He will lift our head. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hail your name, day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Go there. 
you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing, oh say yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing, oh say yeah. Oh say yeah. Today we know Baba. Oh say yeah. Oh say yeah. Be 
this kind God know. Said I never, 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 ever see a kind of this kind God know. Say blessed be this kind God know. I never see your typo. I never see your typo. This kind God do. I never see your kind do. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Give the Lord your best dance. Give the Lord your best shout. Give the Lord your best rejoicing. He's got it. Aha. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O oh God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request 
represent the challenges of your people. This request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny. This request threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives. We pray in the name that is above all names. That every request here be turned into a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how impossible the situation is, oh God. I pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some. I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. No matter how far you are inside and outside, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Everything that represents limitation in your life. Everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny. I come in the name of the Lord God. The Lord God Almighty. And I declare that in this month of May, may that limitation be lifted up your life. May that limitation be lifted up your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are, whatever wrong advice, whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid. Makata kata kata, shekete kete baka, emproto sekete lekata, mankratos kataba latapa, rebeke teke teke tebele debos. I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation. Strategies that are revealed of the spirit. Strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you. I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion. Lack of direction. There's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do. 
it can be frustrating when you are clueless you are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and mind the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion hallelujah i pray for you part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities hagar listen hagar was in a place it was a desert but there was water her eyes could not see it. but when the angel of the lord appeared unto her suddenly she saw water i pray you have been passing water and bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of may man brought us the anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you i release it upon you now i release it upon you now where men see obstacles may you see opportunities where men see stumbling blocks may you see stepping stones in the name of jesus the bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear has kept many people from moving forward. Fear of everything. Fear of death. Fear of failure. Fear of taking action. Fear of moving. Even when God says move, you say I'm afraid. Start that business, I'm afraid. Take a step to marry, I'm afraid. Do this, I'm afraid. Move on further, I'm afraid. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every manifestation of fear, every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line, that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress, that keeps you from being afraid, every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step, I cause that fear now. I cause that fear now. I cause that fear now. When they got to the Red Sea, they were afraid. And when Moses went before the Lord, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs don't go before you. They follow you. You will have to take a step as a sign that you trust God. Take the step and die taking it. Let it be that it was God that killed you. There is no man that took a step in the name of the Lord that did not return with a testimony. For some may trust in horses. Others may trust in chariots. But for us, we trust in the name of the Lord. And everything we do in the name of the Lord, he said, whatsoever you do in word and in deed, do it in the name of the Lord. I pray for you again. Fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up. Fear has stopped people from applying in places, high places. They think they are not qualified. Fear has stopped many of us. Fear has stopped you from starting the building project. Who said you are too young? So long as God gives you the signal. There are some of us. All of us are adults in our house. But our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow because of fear. You have 10,000. Go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it there. Tell the devil I'm coming. Look, let me tell you, you will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if I perish, I perish. 
I pray the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the audacity to ride through without exhaustion, to ride through without fear. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma dekete kete tete keta. Shekete lepa. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year I declare by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road. No terrorist will attack you on the road. When others say there is a casting down, it will never be your testimony. For you, it will be that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your finances. The grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future, I release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers i cause it to his root now in the name of jesus christ i pray for those trusting god for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God give them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died I call it back to life in the name of Jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation I silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life. I pray for every ministry represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every business represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every job represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every family represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every destiny represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. 
the Bible says thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over there is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup my source of supply to run over I pray for you the anointing that will give you wisdom the anointing that will give you creativity the anointing that will give you ideas insight concepts strategies for wealth I release it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you in a name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity that is eating up your walk with God you love God but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin I pray for you the hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense the grace of God picks you out of that limitation grace to say no to every appearance of evil grace to say no to everything that is ungodly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray a special prayer for our brothers I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility one more time I curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are that entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success I curse that mindset in the name of Jesus from today I release upon you grace grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you you will not need to defend yourself the Lord God Almighty will be your defense the Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress in the name of Jesus I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost restoration 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus and I pray for you a new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the spirit of God where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful I pray for a restoration for you where you have lost the voice of the spirit I command that you be to hear his voice again where you have lost zeal for the house of God I command a restoration for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I pray for you all through the remaining part of May into June let it be a month of testimonies for you beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ all those who have been looking for you to bless you may this be the season they find you all those who have received instructions from God to hold your hands and lift you up with no strings attached but have not been able to find you I pray listen listen Samuel had already been ordained I mean Saul ordained to be a king but he needed to find Samuel and they kept searching and he could not find Samuel until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him you can be one anointing away from the next level of your life you can be one prophetic impartation away you can be one destiny helper away I pray again for you whoever has been looking for you like the lost ass of Samson of, of Saul whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you may this be the season they find you in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you nothing will rob your joy this month this will be the month of June will be for you a month of joy and laughter in the name of Jesus Christ 
before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting hallelujah now keep standing everybody you're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ keep standing everyone you've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight we will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life wherever you are make your way to the front right now we have one minute for this God bless you God bless you as you come God bless you as you come don't wait for anybody to be the first to come make your way God bless you God bless you they are coming inside and outside celebrate them koinonia God bless you as you come Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the father but by me God bless you as you come don't be ashamed he will give you a new beginning and he will supply grace that you will go higher and higher higher and higher keep coming young and old keep coming run to Jesus keep coming in the name of the Lord Jesus don't sit back hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart you're not reciting a poem this is this is a confession that brings salvation unto you say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord I receive of your life I receive of your spirit and I declare that from today my sins are washed away I am a brand new person the hand of God is upon me I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is not of God I take authority over it I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life in Jesus name Amen Amen and Amen I want to congratulate you for making this decision it's the best decision you can make this decides your eternal destiny hallelujah now I like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they will have your details they will welcome you more warmly and then will communicate to you through them God bless you this way draw that baby baby this way no 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 All those who are worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshiping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, Koinonia. You can do better than this. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you